This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the factors that affect the rate of reaction. We'll start by looking at temperature. Increasing the temperature increases the rate of reaction. Here we have a Maxwell Boltzmann distribution curve for two gases, one at 300 Kelvin and one at 310 Kelvin. The blue area represents the number of particles with energy greater than activation energy at 300 Kelvin. The shaded area represents the number of particles with energy greater than the activation energy at 310 Kelvin. As you can see, at 310 Kelvin, a greater proportion of particles have energy greater than the activation energy. So increasing the temperature increases the average kinetic energy of the particles and also increases the frequency of collisions between reactant particles. More importantly, there is an increase in the proportion of particles that have energy greater than the activation energy. The frequency of successful collisions between reactant particles increases, increasing the rate of reaction. Next we look at concentration. Increasing the concentration of reactants increases the rate of reaction. This is because increasing the concentration of the reactants increases the frequency of collisions between reactant particles. Therefore, the frequency of successful collisions between reactant particles also increases, increasing the rate of reaction. So here we have two solutions. The solution on the left has a high concentration of reactant particles. The solution on the right has a low concentration of reactant particles. So in the solution with a higher concentration of reactant particles, there'll be a higher frequency of successful collisions between the reactant particles, therefore a higher rate of reaction. Next we look at surface area. As particle size decreases, which means that the surface area increases, the rate of reaction also increases. So as we can see from this diagram, large pieces of reactant particles react slowly and small pieces of reactant particles, such as powders, react very quickly. This is because as the surface area increases, the frequency of collisions between reactant particles also increases. Therefore, the frequency of successful collisions between reactant particles also increases, increasing the rate of reaction. And finally, we look at pressure. For reactions that involve gases, increasing the pressure increases the rate of reaction. At higher pressures, the gas is compressed, effectively increasing its concentration. Here we have two samples of gas. The one on the left is at a lower pressure. The one on the right is at a higher pressure. The gas at higher pressure will have a higher rate of reaction. The increase in pressure results in an increase in successful collisions between reactant particles and an increase in the rate of reaction.